Hi and welcome and today we're going to take you through the new out of box experience for BYOD mode. So I have put my new device here on the preview software and back to reset it. So you can see what the out of box experience is. One little, little tip that you can see when you have the device like this, you powered it up, you plugged everything in. If you simply just press the reset button on the back, you get to see some information. So i.e. the IP address, etc. of this device. If you have plugged in obviously to the wired LAN and you can see the room temperature sensor data there as well. And also another little nifty tip, again, do it on the bar as well. You get to see the exactly the same thing on the bar. So you see what the, the serial number is, etc. And you get to see its network address. It's got an NTP, etc. So you know it's all good. So let's just jump through now, do the out of box experience. So I select my language. And I get to choose what device. So I'm setting it up with a neat bar. So we simply select continue. Mounting guide. So if you've not done it before, you can step through the mounting guide. We are connected to the internet, so we can continue. We auto pick up the time zone based on our location. You can choose your time zone, etc. here. It's now discovered the bar on the network. And we simply tick that and select continue. And we get that little chime to approve that we have connected. We're all good. And now this is where you can enroll on Pulse if you want to have that uh, ready for Pulse to do that remote management, set any uh, preferences. We'll skip that for now. We will now see here, we can select our Zoom appliance mode, our Microsoft Teams rooms on Android appliance mode, or we now have this toggle for BYOD mode. So as soon as we select that and continue, we're done. That's it. Because there's no application to download, we are ready to go. So this is what our page now looks like. It's showing us that we have a neat bar. And remember on a neat bar, which is our first generation product, we need that USB cable and we need the HDMI cable. They can both come into your laptop, connect in. So if that's what you have on your port wise, or you might need a dongle like this. I've got my USB-C to my HDMI and USB-A. That is what's required. Let me go and hook up my laptop. Okay. I have my Dell Windows laptop here. I have my HDMI cable and I have my USB cable. I can then plug these into my laptop and then you'll see the screen change. HDMI, USB-A. So now you can see I'm replicating my laptop display and then I've now got the symmetry options for uh, the whole room, group, framing or my symmetry. And I select a new meeting on my laptop. Let's start an instant meeting. And I've obviously got volume slider, mute control as well. So I just get the uh, permissions on my browser. Do I want to allow to use a mic and speakers like you would with any application? And now you can see me on my neat bar Gen 1 connected there. And again, you can select your microphone preferences and you can see it's using the neat bar, speakers and microphone is neat bar and the camera is neat bar as well. So I can then adjust the symmetry so I can go to myself. So it'll frame, frame me in. I can go group framing or I can turn the framing totally off. So you've got full camera control there on the device and you're able to also mute. So you can see the sync is in there muting between the devices as well. That is BYD mode with two cables. Now let's imagine you had a dongle. So let's hang up this call. I will disconnect these two cables. And as you can see, we jump back to the splash screen. So ready for the next person who walks into the meeting space. So now let's use my dongle. So you might have this on the table. You may have a docking station, uh, USB extenders, or something like that in the room. So now you just have one cable to plug in because you might be doing laptop charge as well. So now we plug in one cable to my laptop. Very simple. You can see we've gone into that BYD mode. Again, I go to new meeting, start a meeting. And there we are in our Google Meet again using our neat bar, mic, uh, speakers, and camera. So when we hang up that call, simply unplug, and then we are ready for the next person, again, to come into this meeting space and use the neat bar and the neat pad. So this is in the 24.4 uh, first release where we can do BYD only mode on the devices. Any questions, let me know.